Now let's do an example of type number two. The thing here is that the density, uh, sorry, the energy loss due to friction depends on the friction factor and on the velocity head. The friction factor is function of Reynolds number, which at the same time is, is function of velocity. So we need velocity to solve the friction loss. Velocity may not be calculated because we don't have the volumetric flow rate. That's actually the question. We need to find the volumetric flow rate. And with that, we will be able to find the velocity. We're going to give several volumetric flow rates and calculate velocities. With these velocities, we're going to calculate side, left side of the mechanical energy equation and calculate right side of the mechanical energy equation. If they make sense, we're set to go. Just be sure to be very low in error. If you have a small error, you're done. If you have a high error, you must retry. So, let me explain you this problem. I took one simple problem so you could get the idea of what is type 2 problem. I got a volumetric flow rate, which I don't know, in point A and point B. The length of the pipe is 25 feet. The nominal diameter is 4 inch in a 40 schedule pipe. Water is at 100 Celsius Fahrenheit, so I calculate the viscosity and the density right here. And they tell you that the maximum amount of let's say friction drop is this one. So that's good because we don't need to calculate, but we still need to calculate the volumetric flow rate. So they ask us if 30 feet is the maximum friction to uh, let's say to have we need to calculate the maximum flow rate so let's do a balance since same height I can cancel gravity factors and height since the same diameter we can cancel velocity and since there is no pump and no turbine you can take this out so I got the most simplest way of the equation which is right here the change in pressure divided by density should give you the loss of friction. Uh, recall that the volumetric flow rate equals area times velocity and please have a note that this depends on the, vol on the velocity which depends at the same time on this and that the friction factor depends on friction and the friction F depends on Reynolds. Reynolds needs velocity and velocity comes from Q. So guys, if I need to do this, then I will do an approach. Let me calculate the energy loss. So doing this, this is due to the wall. I have no fittings. Actually here, no fittings, no valve. HFS is equal to zero. So I get this. So one trick I can do is since I know I want to add an extra equation, so I know the wall the wall loss is this one. I can solve for velocity in this case. This one I have it. This one I do not have it. This one I have it. No, I don't have this. And I do have this. So let's go. And you get that velocity equals to this value. If you substitute every data, you have HF here, you have well this two is from this two is constant. I got the length and divided by the diameter. The length we call is 25 meters, not 25 feet, about 7.6 meters. Mm -hmm. And I got this equation, equation number three. And recall that the friction factor or factor of friction is function of Reynolds and relative roughness. So let me calculate that. Relative roughness is the roughness divided by the diameter, which I got to be this one right here. And the Reynolds number, I cannot find velocity, but I can substitute everything in function of velocity. So I get equation 3 and 4. So let me explain you what is my idea. I'm going to propose an F value. Then I'm going to calculate the velocity from here. Once I got velocity, I can calculate the Reynolds number from here. And once I got the Reynolds number, I can find the new friction factor in the Moody's diagram. And if this friction factor is pretty near to the friction factor I guessed, then I'm done. If it's very far away, 
then I need to iterate. Okay. So before I just doing random uh, f values, recall that the typical application is between zero and thirty, more near into or more commonly between these numbers right here. So let me choose twenty as a base. So I propose a friction factor. I substitute in the equation of velocity right here. I got a velocity which is I think very high and then let me calculate the Reynolds number with that velocity mm -hmm. I got 1.5 and since I already got the relative roughness right here and I got the Reynolds number I find out that my new value of f equals 0 0.17 so it's a little bit less I will use this value right here and do the thing, the process again calculate velocity from the f value 17 I got 11.5 meters per second calculate Reynolds number is almost the same and now I check out and my friction factor is the same so I can say this is my final answer since velocity I guess is 11.5 now I can calculate the, the volumetric flow rate because I already know the velocity and the area I got this one 0 0.085 cubic meters per second change it to feet per second uh, cubic feet per second because those were the units they were asking us they were we have feet we have inches uh, so they're asking us to get it in English system so I round it up and I think 3 cubic feet per second is my final answer good this is another exercise, you might try it again. So last exercise was this one right here to calculate the volumetric flow rate. We found out we eat 3 cubic meters per second. But what will happen if we have two pipes, for example, 2 inch pipe right here and 3 inch pipe right here. And yeah, they, we got the specific gravity, we got the viscosity, we got the power of the pump, we got pump, uh, the suction in the inlet and outlet we got the length of all the pipes and we know all the accessories and also the height of the points so hey there guys, probably you've been watching this course and you've been watching essentially just a section of the course and not only that, you watch a plenty of ads if not mine, there are also YouTube ads so if you want to get rid of those, go and register right here not only that, you will get also high definition content and you will be able to follow the course in a proper way. This is a way more friendly or user friendly interface. And for instance, if you want to go and check out class 8, you will be able to read the description, get plenty of videos. So, for example, you get to check out this video and yeah, essentially you get to see every one of these videos through these tabs. And not only that, if you want to ask any question, you can leave it here in my reply and I will answer you as that. How can we solve this? Well, number one, we will need to split this into two problems. The first pro problem will be dealing with the friction loss in number two. And the other problem will deal with the pipe, which is three inches. Uh, in diameter. So let's do the, we do the balance and we have this right here. What did the, we have a little detail that HF depends on two parameters the inch, the two inch pipe and the three inch pipe. But the balance is done here. So we have A, do we have it? Yes, we have the height, velocity is zero, so that's why we can sell. So let me actually start doing this, uh, we have yes, 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 okay the only thing I can cancel is velocity and A pressure and PA and PB are different so I cannot cancel that I have a pump so I cannot cancel that I got a difference on height so I cannot cancel that and the velocity analysis is in the suction line so I cannot cancel velocity right here there's no workout 
and this is once again the problem guys I have this friction factor or loss or energy loss due to friction and this depends on pipe number two and pipe number three each one of them has different velocities different Reynolds numbers different friction factors and therefore you have different uh, energy loss so you will need to split this in two pipe number two and pipe number three you do exactly the same as we did before two times because we have two pipes and once you calculate the total friction you will be able to solve for the question you are finding which is probably what is this pump work so this is a summary propulsive volumetric flow rate always with the volumetric flow rate calculate velocity in inch or the pipe pipe size 2 inches, pipe size 3 inches calculate Reynolds number in both pipes calculate the friction uh, factor in each pipe Calculate the loss of friction in each pipe. I know it's very tedious, but it's very important to make you understand that we need to calculate the friction loss separately. And now, once we are left, we can finally say if this value right here and this value right here is equal. For example, if we got these three and we got these maybe ten, then this is not true, and you need to propose another volumetric flow rate which will give you another velocity in pipe in the different pipes in the two inches and in the three inches pipe. okay so just be sure this was a little bit more complex if you compare it to the first exercise in which we calculated volumetric flow rate but the idea is the same do a balance compare this side right here with the left with the right side right here and once you get logical numbers you are set to done so you need more problems guys you can find always more at this course right here part number one solve the problems quizzes slideshows and way much more material this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you're for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.